eat the fruit of the labor of your hands, you shall be happy, and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Lo, thus shall a man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. Praise you the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon you.
through thine unutterable gift and manifold goodness, thou dost come to Cana of Galilee and dost bless the marriage there to make manifest that it is thy will that there should be lawful marriage and procreation. Do thou the same, O holy master, accept the prayers of us, thy servants, as thou wast present there, be thou also present here, and with thine invisible protection, bless this marriage, grant unto these thy servants, Jack and Valerie, a peaceful life, length of days, chastity, mutual love in the bond of peace, long-lived offspring, gratitude from their children, a crown of glory that does not fade away. Graciously grant that they may see their children's children, preserve their bed unassailed, give them of the dew of heaven from on high and of the fatness of the earth, fill their houses with wheat, wine, and oil, and with every good thing, so that they may give in turn to those in need, and grant also to those here present with them all those petitions which are for their salvation. For thou art the God of mercies and of bounties and of love toward mankind, and we glorify thee, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, priest of mystical and undefiled marriage, ordainer of the law of the marriage of the body, preserver of immortality, provider of the good things of life, the same Master who in the beginning did make man and establish him as king over creation, and did say, It is not good that man should be alone upon the earth. Let us make a helper fit for him. Taking one of his ribs, thou dost fashion woman, and when Adam saw her, he said, This is, at last, bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken of a man. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, that no one put asunder. Do thou now also, Master, our Lord, and our God, send down thy heavenly grace upon these thy servants, Jack and Valerie, and grant that this handmaiden may be subject to her husband in all things, and this servant may be the head of his wife, so that they may live according to thy will. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Abraham and Sarah. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Isaac and Rebekah. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Jacob and all the patriarchs. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Joseph and Anasaph. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Moses and Zipporah. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Joachim and Anna. Bless them, O Lord our God, as thou didst bless Zechariah and Elizabeth. Preserve them, O Lord our God, as thou didst preserve Noah in the ark. Preserve them, O Lord our God, as thou didst preserve Jonah in the belly of the whale. Preserve them, O Lord our God, as thou didst preserve the three holy children from the fire, sending down upon them dew from heaven. And let thy gladness come upon them, which the blessed Helen had when she found the precious cross. Remember them, O Lord our God, as thou didst remember Enoch, Shem, Elijah. Remember them, O Lord our God, as thou didst remember thy forty holy martyrs, sending down upon the crowns from heaven. Remember them, O Lord our God, and the parents who have nurtured them. For the prayers of parents make firm the foundations of houses. Remember, O Lord our God, thy servants, the groomsman and the bridesmaid of the bridal pair, who have come together in their joy. Remember, O Lord our God, thy servant Jack and thy handmaiden Valerie. Bless them, grant them of the fruit of their bodies, fair children, concord of soul and body. Exalt them like the cedars of Lebanon, like a luxuriant vine. Give them offspring in number, like unto full ears of grain, so that having enough of all things, they may abound in every work that is good and acceptable unto thee. Let them see their children's children like olive shoots around their table, so that finding favor in thy sight, they may shine like the stars of heaven in thee, our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And 
this fashion woman from his rib, and this join her unto him as a helper. For it seemed good to thy majesty that a man should not be alone upon the earth. Do thou the same, Lord, stretch out now also thy hand from thy holy dwelling place, and unite this thy servant, Jack, and this thy handmaid, Valerie. For by thee is the husband joined unto the wife. Unite them in one mind, with them under one flesh, granting them of the fruit of the body, fair children of the fruit of the body, and the procreation of fair children. For thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The servant of God, Jack, is crowned with a handmaid in the cloud of glory, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The servant of God, Jack, is crowned with a handmaid in the cloud of glory, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The servant of God, Jack, is crowned with a handmaid in the cloud of glory, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the handmaid of God Valerie is crowned with the servant of God Jack, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The handmaid of God Valerie is crowned with the servant of God Jack, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The handmaid of God Valerie is crowned with the servant of God Jack, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Lord our God, crown them with glory and honor. O Lord our God, crown them with glory and honor. O Lord our God, crown them with glory and honor. Wisdom, let us attend. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Wisdom. The Prochemenon in the eighth tone. Thou hast set upon their heads crowns of precious stones. They asked life of thee, and thou gavest it them. Thou hast set upon their heads crowns of precious stones. They asked life of thee, and thou Christ, God the Father, be subject to one another out of reference for Christ. Wives, be subject to your husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and his himself its Savior. As the church is subject to Christ, so let wives also be subject in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, that the church might be presented before him in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she may be holy and without blemish. Even so, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no man ever hates his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. 
For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one. This is a great mystery, and I take it to mean Christ and the Church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. And to your spirit, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Thou, O Lord, shall protect us and preserve us from this generation forever.
scholarly, who declare marriage honorable, do thou the same, Lord, now also maintain in peace and concord thy servants Jack and Valerie, whom thou hast been pleased to join together, cause their marriage to be honorable, preserve their dead, blameless, mercifully grant that they may live together in purity, and enable them to reach a ripe old age, walking in thy commandments with a pure heart. For thou art our God, the God of mercy and salvation, and we glorify thee, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Let us ask of the Lord. That in God peace and faithful guide and heart and of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Lord, in the remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining part of our life. Let us ask of the Lord. Lord Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Now we ask for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call on Thee, the Heavenly God, as Father, and to sing.
Rejoice, O Isaiah! Rejoice, O Isaiah! All that he gives with child, the birth of Emmanuel. He is the God and man, and glory and is his name. Magnifying him we call the Virgin Blessed. O holy martyrs,
Wisdom most holy, fair talk, or save us. in Cana of Galilee, declared marriage to be honorable, even Christ our true God, to the prayers of his most pure mother, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of the holy God crowned kings, Constantine and Helen, equal to the apostles, of the holy great martyr Procopius and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he alone is good and the lover of mankind. Have a seat for a moment. Jack and Valerie were very um, delighted, pleased, uh, moved, and inspired uh, by your marriage here today. And we give uh, thanks to God that, first of all, you found each other in God's providence, and that uh, um, somehow in finding each other, it seemed right and fitting for you to share your life together and to support each other through all of the years stretching ahead. And um, we are also give thanks to God because we know that um, although we are asking him to bless you and we enumerated many ways in which we pray that God will bless you and help you and uh, prosper you in your life, but also that we ask that God, that, that you would be moved to share those blessings with others. So, of course, it's perfectly true. You get married for the sake of your loved one. You know, it's about you and your marriage. But your marriage isn't only about you. It doesn't, the meaning of your marriage isn't exhausted in your life together. The sharing with others is a tremendously important dimension of that marriage. And the service, the prayers that we said, using all those biblical texts, show us the, the, the meaning of what it means to be a blessing to others. That means to be hospitable to others, to care for others uh, to the degree that you can, uh, to be helpful to those in need. You're meant to be a blessing for those around you. Family, friends, colleagues, parish, I hope, uh, that that is the way what you're called to be. And, um, well, there are so many things to say. I just want to congratulate you again and look forward to um, the blessings multiplying in your life. Grant, O Lord, a peaceful life, health, salvation, visitation, furtherance, and all good things, every blessing out of Zion to thy servants, Jack and Valerie, newly crowned in marriage, to their uh, to the, their sponsors, Alexander and Lisa, to their family and friends who have gathered in this joy, and preserve us all, O oh Lord, for many years.
and thank you all for joining us today and greet them outside as you leave.